Hey, on the channel, we're talking G.I. Joe with the PCS statues of Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another G.I. Joe PCS statue unboxing and review. And remember, for all your G.I. Joe statue needs, like these two, and Transformers, and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. And like I said, they don't just do G.I. Joe. I've been paying attention. I see these at GameStop a lot. Probably you guys do as well. There's Ninja Turtles. They have Transformers. They have tons of different characters and different lines uh, with these PCS statues. And the nice thing is they're fairly cheap compared to your you know expensive statues out there, and they uh, look really good. They look they look more expensive than the pr their price tag. That's the way I uh, view these when I see these. Uh, the Grimlock one's been really catching my eye lately. I really like the Dinobots. I'd really like a shot at that. We'll see, though. How many lines can you buy? How many can you afford? How many do you really want at the end of the day? Uh, but they're giving some of those G1-inspired Transformer looks that uh, I'm a sucker for. I'm a sucker for. And speaking of being a sucker for, I'm a sucker for G.I. Joe. As you guys know, I absolutely love me some G.I. Joe. So I was very excited to get any G.I. Joe figures, statues I can get. And you guys know on the channel, we've unboxed the PCS Cobra Commander. We've unboxed the PCS Serpentor. And then I said to myself, I'm not getting Storm Shadow and Snake, guys. I've documented it on the channel. I've talked about it before. I'm just not a big ninja fan in my G.I. Joe. I like the characters, but I always gravitated towards the Rock and Rolls, the Flint, uh, the Law and Orders, the Leathernecks, the Lieutenant Falcons of the world in my G.I. Joe collecting. He and my G.I. Joe favorites. Snake Eyes, Storm Shadow, nothing against them. I liked them okay, but I just wasn't a big fan of the ninja elements of G.I. Joe, which is crazy because a lot of people, that's their favorite part of G.I. Joe. So, very interesting G.I. Joe fans are. Uh, we all like it all at the end of the day. I think all hardcore Joe fans, even if you like the ninja side better, you still like the Duke and the Flint and that side of the fence as well. Uh, and I'm the same way. But these two I said I wasn't getting. But you guys know, got to get a deal. One of the mottos on the channel, GameStop of all places, had a 50% off sale, flash sale one day. I bought the Snake Eyes helmet. I haven't unboxed that on the channel yet. We'll do that one of these days soon. And then these two are both half off. And I said, you know what? You order all these together. I get free shipping. I get 50% off. I got my $5 rewards credit I could throw on top. Got to get a deal. I said, what the heck? I'm going down the road. I'm getting these. Now I need to get Destro and Baroness probably. Am I going to get all of them? I don't know. But Destro and Baroness are at GameStop. But they're $10 more than they used to be. So they raised the price on them. Once again, I think my motto is with these statues, I'm only going to buy them if there's a hot deal going on. You know GameStop will have a deal. A Big Bad Toy Store might have a deal. Who knows? Uh, we'll just wait for a deal on these, and that's how I'll start picking them up. So let's talk about it. Let's unbox both of these, and we'll do them one at a time. All right, let's start with Storm Shadow, some people's favorite villain in the G.I. Joe line, and I can understand why. Storm Shadow, masked guy, stealthy, fighting, uh, fighting with spirit, fighting with snake eyes. He doesn't mess around. He also later turned into a G.I. Joe. A lot of people forget that or didn't know that. He was kind of teetered on the fence. He was a man like most ninjas. They're all about respect at the end of the day. and He had some respect for Snake Eyes. We know that. They were brother in arms. Uh, and, you know, a love-hate relationship kind of, I would say, with those two. Uh, but yeah, so Storm Shadow, one of the most uh, known villains. I would have to say top five villains in the Cobra universe very easily. Uh, I would have to say that. But we're going to do it like we normally do it. We're going to take a look at the packaging first, unbox it, talk about it, see where it goes from there. First thing that catches my eye on this package, and I can't remember back to Serpentor and Cobra Commander, but it's got the G.I. Joe logo down here. Love that G.I. Joe logo. That's the classic logo I know and love. But I would have rather had the Cobra uh, insignia back there, kind of like his stand behind him. I would have liked to see the Cobra logo instead of G.I. Joe, or put both on there, uh, something like that. It just Kind of looks weird with him saying G.I. Joe under it. Maybe I didn't catch that before. Maybe it wasn't that way before. I can't remember. But that was the first thing that catches my eye. And then you got this Cobra. I mean, that's where I guess... I guess no different than the old school toys back in the day. That's how you knew it was a Cobra guy. They had that little stamp down there. So... 
I guess I maybe I'm being a little too critical there. I guess I guess it does work out. But Storm Shadow in all of his glory, looking cool in the package. I like these statues. As if you think about most statues, if you collect statues, or at least if you've seen statues at your comic book store and stuff, uh, you usually don't get a window box. Usually it's all sealed inside. You don't get to see what it looks like. You get a picture of it on the outside of the box. These are like an action figure you can actually see through to the figure. So I do like that. Uh, and I can see people keeping this mint in box and just displaying it like this because it displays very well in the packaging. But you know me, you know what we do on the channel. We got to unbox this bad boy. It's just what we got to do. So you got, uh, there he is on the side there. PCS logo down below, G.I. Joe way up top, and a little Glamour Shot action. Cobra Ninja Storm Shadow. Same thing on the other side. You get a little top, you let the light in through there. You got the G.I. Joe logo. Nothing too fun down there. And then we get to the back of the package. Very reminiscent of the old school G.I. Joe days. I probably said it before, and I'm going to say it again. I love this file card. How awesome is that? Uh, as a kid, I kept the whole backs of every single G.I. Joe figure I bought. Uh, I never threw any of them away. Always wanted to keep the file card. I know a lot of people went the, the next level and they cut the file card out. I kept the whole back. That's the way I did it. I'm sure some of you guys did as well. Tell me in the comments, did you keep the whole back, throw it all away, or did you cut them out? You were one of the three. I know it. Uh, we're promoting the rest of the lines here. Baroness Destro coming soon, it says. They are now out, as these were the first ones that were released. Uh, I don't know. I got, I got to play the long game. That Destro I really, really want, so we'll see what happens. I'm sure they'll go to clearance, and I'll pick them up somewhere along the line. Uh, we got a little blurbs down here, the classified card. I got to read that. You know we got to read that. That's, that's what I live for on these G.I. Joe figures. Primary military specialty, sabotage. Secondary intelligence. Birthplace, classified. Storm Shadow can trace his family history through 30 generations of ninjas. That's a lot of ninjas, guys. He can scale sheer walls with bare hands and feet, move with blinding speed, and endure unspeakable hardship and pain. Qualified expert in the longbow, samurai sword, throwing stars, nunchuck sticks, 8th degree black belt, in 5 martial arts. Uh, ninja stars were all the rage when I was in elementary school. I don't know about you guys, but uh, there was these kids, and I never got one. I think my dad was smart enough to say, you know, Kyle really doesn't need ninja stars. How about we get you that uh, other G.I. Joe figure? How about we get you a Footloose? Uh, and I was all in on Footloose. And I think my dad's like, you know, uh, dangerous to have real ninja stars with children. I, he was probably smart. I don't know if I'd give my kids ninja stars. Ah, who am I fooling? I would. I'd give them to them. Uh, no, I wouldn't. But, uh... A couple kids that lived down the street, they were twins. And here we go, story time again. They got a couple of ninja stars, like real deal ninja stars. These things were like little saw blades. They were they were sharp, they were dangerous. And, uh, you know, we were out back playing or whatever, and they had this big oak tree back there, and they were chucking them into the oak tree. And if you missed the tree, there was a fence behind it, so it would stick in the fence. They wouldn't get lost and all that stuff. But as brothers do, I never had a brother growing up. I was a sister guy. Uh, but I imagine if I had brothers, you know, brothers get in fights, and they're best friends, they play together, and then they fight. No different than my two daughters. Some minutes they're best friends, then the next minute they're uh, fighting, and I put my referee shirt, and I say, okay, let's go, let's make this official, let's do it. But these brothers were fighting, and I always liked to watch them fight. I'd watch them throw down and punch each other in the face. Inevitably, one would go crying to their mom or dad. It's just the way it went back then. But uh, one day, they got really mad at each other, and they were fighting, and one brother was going in. Uh, I don't know, he's going to tell the other one, and the other one wouldn't want him to tell. Well, you know what he did? He grabbed one of those ninja stars and just whoo, flung it at him, got him right in the shoulder, right in the shoulder with a legit ninja star. It was the coolest thing ever for an outsider watching in. Uh, but boy, did he get in trouble, and guess what? They never got to have those ninja stars again. Can you believe that? The parents would take those ninja stars from them? It happens out there, but yeah, all those stories come back. It's just weird. Those stories come back when I read Ninja Stars, and I think, oh yeah, you know, I remember the uh, Bart and Dustin, the twins down the road. I remember what happened there. Uh, anyways, the great ninja clans disappeared 100 years ago. If they were wiped out, nobody took the credit for it. And if they're still around, who are they working for? So there you go. There you go. All right, let's unbox it. Let's see what all the fuss is about in here. <clears throat> let's see what Storm Shadow's up to. Look at that cool background. Very cool. Very cool. These are very cool figures. Statues. Whatever we're going to call them. Looks like we got a sword that's got to pop out. I mean, I feel like we're doing a figure here. Uh, there's a sword. Does this seem kind of weird? A statue with a store, uh, sword that's removable here. Uh-oh, we got twist ties. We got two of them. Let's see if I can defeat the twist ties like the neighbor kids defeated each other with Chinese stars. Nothing like a good throwing star. I mean, I think we can all agree. Tell me in the comments, did you ever have a throwing star? I mean, they were truly all the rage back in like the late 80s, early 90s. 
all kids thought it was just the coolest thing to have a throwing star. I don't know. I, I never really thought it was the greatest thing. Like I said, I could be easily swayed by a, a different toy. But they get the stand up. Jeez, there it is. See you later off to the side as I drop a bunch of twist ties. This, this carpet's like a landmine of twist ties. But there is that background. We love that Cobra logo background. So we got two two pieces here. And then this is Storm Shadow. This is Storm Shadow. Now, G.I. Joe Classified in unison. All of us right now are saying, why can't we get this in the G.I. Joe Classified line? This is the Storm Shadow we want. Give this to us. Hasbro, it shouldn't be this hard. Don't give us the G.I. Joe Ninja Force good guy Storm Shadow as an Amazon exclusive. This is the one we want. We thought we were going to get it with the movie line reveals. We still have not gotten it. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know if they're waiting for Walmart to say, okay, we'll take your G.I. Joe exclusive line. It's going to be on the retro card back, and that's when we're going to get them. I don't know. It's just a... Oh, it's dangerous. I mean, you got that carrot that keep dangling on the fans. Luckily, you know, I got my favorite, Flint. I'm happy. I'm happy. But I feel for you Storm Shadow guys, because I know there's a lot of you guys out there that really need that Storm Shadow. Uh, I get it. I'd be screaming if Flint wasn't out. Pegs right in there. Beautiful. These are great. I mean, they are not breakable. I mean, obviously, you can't fight with them. You'll ding them up. But uh, they got a good girth to them. But some statues out there, if you've had statues in the past, they're very easily to break. You can break their arms off, stuff like that. Got to put this uh, sword in his other hand. Uh, it goes in a little rough. That's going to take some work. And I don't know if you could even heat these up if you wanted to. But it's uh, definitely going to be a tight fit. I'll have to play with that and push that in. But how cool is this Storm Shadow? I mean, this is 100% Storm Shadow. If you think what Storm Shadow look like, close your eyes. This is what you think. So you got to say you like this. I think we all love this, uh, especially if you're an old school G.I. Joe guy. Uh, this is right up your alley here. And a great attention to detail here. You know, you got the sword that's going to be in his hand here. It's got the sheath here, like it's pulled out. It would look funny if there was two swords here. You'd say, well, wait a minute here. But no, that's where that one goes, and it's got a spot for it right there. Actually, maybe that's the dagger that's in his other hand. It does come with his bow and arrow. Obviously, you can't take any of these things out, but he's also known for his bow and arrow. Uh, but very, very solid. No paint problems, no imperfections. Got that cool red cobra insignia on there that really uh, stands out against the all-white Storm Shadow. So I got to say, for a Storm Shadow statue, you couldn't have done this any better, I don't think. So top-notch here. But let's see how the Snake Eyes looks. All right, G.I. Joe PCS statue unboxings continue, and now we've got Snake Eyes. The yin and the yang. Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes, they go together like peanut butter and jelly, some may say. Uh, the good guy version here of Storm Shadow. Storm Shadow. There is no such thing as a bad guy version of Snake Eyes, but this is the yin of the Snake Eyes and to the yang of Storm Shadow. There we go. I just didn't say that very clear. Uh, but let's look at the packaging here. Same packaging as uh, Storm Shadow, but you can see right off the bat something different. We got a G.I. Joe stand instead of a Cobra stand. And like I said, I've had Serpentor, I had Cobra Commander. This is the first Joe. And it's funny is uh, the line so far is Cobra Commander, Serpentor, Storm Shadow, Destro, Baroness, and then Snake Eyes. Snake Eyes is the first uh, good guy made so far. Uh, very interesting. You, you think it would be maybe half and half or maybe more good guy than bad guy but apparently not and i think they probably understand uh some of these villains uh sell a lot better because they look a lot more menacing and crazy instead of just an army guy does that make sense uh that's my guess there but i hope we get a flint i tell you what i'm gonna be a day one buyer i'll pre-order i don't care what the cost is for flint i'll pick him up right away uh, i talked a little bit about my thoughts on snake eyes and storm shadow earlier so i won't rehash all that but you got the gi joe logo you got snake eyes you got that stand in the background there, and of course you got the Snake Eye statue there. You got a little glamour shot, the PCS logo, G.I. Joe at the top. Same thing on the other side. Nothing fun on the bottom, nothing fun on the top, but we got the back. It's got the whole group back there. And then we got the old school classified card down below, and we're going to read that about our old buddy Snake Eyes. See what it says. From the G.I. Joe cartoon series, it does say on the back here. File name classified. Primary MOS infantry. Secondary special... Specialty hand-to-hand -hand combat and structure, classified place of birth. Subject served in long-range recon patrols in Southeast Asia, left the service to study mystical martial arts with the same ninja family that produced Storm Shadow. Snake Eyes was living an ascet ascetic existence alone in the high Sierras with a pet wolf named Timber when he was recruited for the G.I. Joe team. 
I would have loved to see timber with this. I actually might look into and see if I can find a timber that scales with this just to put by him. I always thought that was really cool. Qualified expert, all NATO, NATO and Warsaw packed small arms, black belt in 12 different fighting systems, and highly skilled in the use of edged weapons. That would be blades, of course. Uh, Snake Eyes was tempered on the anvil of life until he was in dangerous as a razor-edged sword flailing in the dark. The G.I. Joe team sheathed that sword and harnessed its deadly energy, but even they are won't to forget what... Now, they this didn't do a very good job here. Now, I'm going to try to read this. And harnessed its deadly energy, but even they are won't to forget... So they messed up some English language here. That even within the safety of its scabbard, the blade retains its cutting edge. What is that even? I don't even know what that whole paragraph, I just read it. It didn't make any sense. Uh, it wasn't grammatically correct in the English language. Uh, what a mess here. I, I don't know what that's about. Very, very strange. Anyways, we won't hold that against it. We're, we care about the statue. We don't really care about that little end paragraph blurb. But it did end on a bad note. Oh, there's the cover of G.I. Joe issue 1 from the comic books there. Uh, if you guys ever read the G.I. Joe comic books, obviously I am most familiar with the cartoon series. When I say I've seen every episode of the G.I. Joe cartoon series a hundred times, I am not joking. As a kid, they were on three, the same episode was on three times a day. I've had the DVDs since they came out. I've watched them on YouTube. I mean, I've watched them a million times. I recorded them as a kid on VCR. I've watched G.I. Joe probably more than anything in my life, outside of probably wrestling, just because wrestling was always continuing. G.I. Joe had an end. But as far as cartoon series, nothing was watched more by me than G.I. Joe. I still could watch any G.I. Joe. I could pick up where it is to this day. Absolutely love it. I love everything about it. It just uh, stole my heart and never let go, and it never will. It's such a big part of who I am. Uh, I talk G.I. Joe a lot. And a lot of people always think, oh, Kyle, you're the wrestling guy. You love wrestling, and I do. I love wrestling figures. But G.I. Joe is truly my first love, uh, and still to this day. So there you go. Little little point there. Plastic prison for the Snake Eyes statue. Pretty cool, I got to admit. Even though I said I'm not the biggest ninja guy, that's a pretty awesome uh, statue of Snake Eyes with the sword there sideways. Snake Eyes looking only like he can look. You know, that's how we picture Snake Eyes. Just like Storm Shadow, you close your eyes and you say, okay, what does Snake Eyes look like? This is exactly what you think. Uh, and that's what I appreciate. That's given us what we want. It's given us what Hasbro is not in the G.I. Joe classified line. Uh, I'm still sticking with the classified line. I absolutely do love it, but I think they are missing the boat. They need to give us some of those classic characters uh, in the scale we want them in. I mean, or you're going to lose lose focus and you're going to lose people buying. I want to make sure I can pop this out without breaking anything. A little dangerous getting him out of the package here. How do I get him out? What are we doing? Well, he's a little... There we go. I guess that works. There's a million things flop around. Can I get this out? Whoa. Jeez. All right. Twist Tie City. I'm going to put those here so they don't end up on my carpet with the 10,000. I need a vacuum. I can feel it just crunching on my feet down here. See you later off to the side. We'll put that together later. Oh, yeah. I like this snake, guys. Is this the same sword? No, it's different. I thought it was the same sword as Storm Shadow. We'll put Storm Shadow here. He, he can stay in the picture. Got that G.I. Joe logo on the back right there. There it is. We know it. We love it. Got a little bit of black on that star, though. That's unfortunate. But I'd rather have a, an issue with the stand. There we go. Then the actual figure. You know, I always like Storm Shadow in more of this... Is it a blue? It's like a midnight bluish black color where I know he's been straight black, but I've always liked this uh, this incarnation best. Very cool. What a commando. Soaking it all in here. you got his grenades on his chest here. You've got a couple of knives on the side, or a knife and a gun on the side. None, none of this is removable on him. Oh, his sword is removable, however. So you could get that out if you want, and I think it is the exact same sword. So, a little reuse. That never hurt anybody, though. Solid, guys. Solid, solid. If you're a Snake Eyes fan, why wouldn't you buy this? If you can get this thing for like $28, I think it was on clearance. Maybe it was even $25. $24.99. It could have been something along them lines. Uh, if you're a Snake Eyes fan, you owe it to yourself to get this. Uh, being a G.I. Joe fan, you owe yourself to get these guys. Uh, and like I said at the beginning, I am not the biggest fan of the G.I. Joe Ninja universe. It's not my favorite aspect of G.I. Joe, but even me can uh, appreciate these and really like these. 
definitely they uh, bring me back to my childhood and what I thought of as Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow growing up. Uh, ninja Stars, Bow and Arrows. I mean, it's got everything you want in your Ninja G.I. Joe universe. So I'm excited. It's making me saying, you know what, Kyle? You've gone this far. You've got four of them. You might as well get Baroness. You might as well get Destro. Ugh, I, just, I don't know. Where am I going to put all these statues, too? That's the other thing i got to think of. We'll see. Collection Tour 2022. We'll see where these end up. Uh, i got to figure out a spot for these guys. Uh, you know, off the beaten path, but with my other G.I. Joe figures. So... Always working over here, always hustling, always doing something, always unboxing something on the channel. But you guys tell me your thoughts on these two. What do you think? Are you going to pick these up? You're passing on them? You like them from afar? Uh, is it another collection road you just can't go down? And I understand that as well. Uh, believe you me, I do understand that. Uh, if you do need them, I know Big Bad Toy Store has them still, so hit the link in the description below. Support the channel. You can buy these, get these, plus uh, support the channel, and uh, th there you go. So give me your thoughts on these guys. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're unboxing every G.I. Joe thing I can get my hands on, uh, yeah, within reason, apparently. But I'm definitely excited for some more classified unboxings. That's probably the next thing we'll have for G.I. Joe unboxings, unless Destro and Baroness make their way here sooner than I think they will, but we'll see. But uh, leave me a like, uh, give me a comment, subscribe to the channel. So for Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow and all my G.I. Joe friends, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.